Hello friends, this is Jay Maliki from Information Technology. Today I am going to help you shrink a volume, delete a volume and extend a volume in Windows 10. Stay tuned for this awesome video. Shrinking a volume takes advantage of a hard drive that isn't using all its space. For example, you can have a 500 GB hard disk drive and only use 100 GB of it. If so, the drive can be shrunk to say 200 GB. That makes the remaining 300 GB of disk storage available for use as another volume, such as another disk drive in Windows. One thing to remember is that you cannot shrink a media card, a flash drive or an optical drive. It must be a hard drive. To shrink a volume, follow these steps. Open the Disk Management Console. Right click on My PC and choose Manage. Under the Storage menu, select Disk Management. Right click on C drive and choose Shrink Volume. Here you can set the size of the new partition. Enter the amount of space in MB to set the volume size. You can set the value lower than the mentioned amount, but you cannot set it higher than this. Now click on Shrink button to reduce the drive size. Wait for the process to complete. Once the operation is completed, you will see the new unallocated volume appear in the same slot as the current drive in the Disk Management Console. Because the volume is unallocated, it is not available for use, at least not in a way that is recognizable to Windows. Simple volume is a part of the physical disk. It works as an independent unit. Simple volume is a dynamic storage with functions like primary partition in the Windows. To create a simple volume, go to the Disk Management, right-click on the unallocated drive and choose New Simple Volume. Click Next in the Wizard window. Set the amount of space. And choose a letter for the new volume. Then click Next again. Give a new name to the volume. I will name it as my file. Click next and then finish. And you have created a new simple volume. Congratulations. Deleting a volume permanently erases the data stored on that volume. Usually people use disk management to delete volume in order to save space for other use or to extend another volume. And some people want to wipe their personal data. So how to delete a volume in disk management in Windows? It's a simple operation in Windows 7, 8 or 10. To delete a volume, open the disk management console. Right click on the volume you intend to delete. Select delete volume. Click yes in the pop-up message and the volume will be deleted. This process seems very easy but sometimes you will find the option delete volume is grayed out. Why? In order to be able to delete a volume, make sure you check whether you are going to delete a volume that contains system or not because the disk management does not allow you to delete the system. Extending a volume You can use Disk Management Console to add space to an existing volume, extending it into empty space on the drive, but only if the empty space doesn't have a volume on it. It should be unallocated. And it should come immediately after the volume you want to extend, with no other volumes in between them. The volume to extend also must be formatted with the NTFS or REFS call systems. So let's extend this volume. Open Disk Management, right click on the volume that you want to extend and select Extend Volume. Select Next and then specify how much you want to extend the volume. Typically, you would want to use the default volume which uses all the available free space, but you can use a smaller volume if you want. 
We want to use the default volume and hence we'll click on next and then finish to extend the volume. So as you can see our volume has been extended from 1 GB to 464 GB. In summary we learned how to shrink a volume, how to create a new volume, how to delete a volume and last but not the least how to extend a volume. I hope this video was helpful. Please give it a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe and hit the bell icon for future videos. Thank you again and I will see you in the next one.